All right, guys, we are here and we are ready for our week two battle for the GPC. As you can see, we are up against Rip here. I'm messaging him right now and telling him to challenge me whenever he's ready. And then we're going to get right into this game. Uh, I didn't make any changes to the team since yesterday. Everything is still in order. Everything is still the same, uh, except I moved Zygarde to the last slot because I want to avoid hovering over it so that you guys don't see the move that I'm packing. You've probably already figured it out by now, but I'm going to keep it as a super special secret awesome move until uh until you guys actually see it in use so yeah i've told him to challenge so i'm actually gonna pause it guys and we'll be back as soon as he's ready all right guys and we have team matchup and he brought both the meloetta and the electros now the sock i expected to come but i only thought one of the two either meloetta or electros would come to this game so that's a little bit concerning that he brought both <laughs> um what do i want to lead with here I kind of want to lead with, um, now on Pokedex, sorry, I just got a question. Uh, let me actually just link this to everybody, guys, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, there we go. Alright, have fun, man. And now we're going to, uh, mute everybody, and, uh, yeah, so, let's... I think we stick to our game plan and we lead off with Pandora, with the Absol. I think that's my plan. The only problem is his sock is a threat. <laughs> it's a massive threat. And if it's also Scarfed, it's going to be faster than me. I didn't take that into consideration. Alright, no, let's lead off with, uh, with Pandora anyway. We're leading off with Absol. If he leads off with Skarm or with Deancey, then we're good. If he leads with Meloetta, that's still good. If he leads with his Electros, that's not great. But it's not the worst. He chooses to lead off with Meloetta as I lead off with Absol. Fantastic. Okay. So, we can choose to knock this thing off immediately. I'm just going to bring up my Absol. Uh, Pandora versus a Meloetta. Meloetta, substitute plus Calm Mind, takes 62 to 74 from a knockoff. So I'm under the impression that he's not going to want to stay in on this turn. I think either way I go for knockoff though, because I have a switch into his Deancey being Meloetta. I'm um, not Meloetta, Florges. So yeah, I'm just going to go for the knock turn one. And we'll see what he does. He goes into Sock and loses his item immediately. That's amazing. He loses his choice band. Okay, cool. All right, this is great. So we know he's choice banded. He did bring the set that Jar said he would. So, knowing that, uh, if I switch directly into Sage, it's not a terrible play. Because he can go for a Poison Jab if he wants to, but uh, I'm going to take it now. It's not going to be too bad. How much does a uh, Choice Banded Sock to, a, to my Floor just set with Poison Jab? If he doesn't have a choice band. Max 60. Okay, so I can definitely take it. And if he goes for close combat, then he's not doing that much. So yeah, let's go into Florges. We can definitely take the hit. Uh, he's going to go for close combat. He's going to play it safe. That is fine with me. We, are, we do have leftovers, so I know he has Poison Jab on this thing. I also know that it doesn't knock me out from here. So I kind of just want to go for a Wish. Uh, and pass it off into maybe Jirachi as he goes into Skarmory. I think would be my play. Yeah, let's go for a wish here. He didn't bring the Volcanion. I just noticed he did not bring Volcanion at all. Well then, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm going to go directly into Jirachi here. And yeah, let's go into Jirachi. As he goes for his Stealth Rocks. Okay, does he not have spikes is the question. That is the question now. Well, <clears throat> the good news is, I now get up my rocks. So, that's great. Uh, I don't know what his Skarmory has on it. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just going for rocks. Just going to go for them. And uh, if he goes into Electros, that's fine. I can U-turn out on that. And go right back at, out into my Florges. Nice little defensive core of Jirachi plus Florges. Looking good. And, uh... He is going to go into his Electros. Fantastic. Okay, so we get up our rocks for free. So that's good news. 
Um, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn here. He's probably gonna go for a knockoff. Um, and I don't really have a great switch into knockoff other than Sage. So I will just go into it here. As let's see what he does. He goes for a Toxic. Okay. Now he doesn't know if I have Heal Bell or, or not. He's Leftovers. Okay, so he's confirmed not Assault Vested. Which is great. Um, I think I'm just gonna throw out another Wish here. And then pass it off into whatever I need to. I think I can take Sock's uh, knockoff with Jirachi. I just want to see. Jirachi. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I said it like that, and I spelled it like that on the calc. <laughs> what? Um, knockoff does 67% max to me. So I should be fine with that. He is going to go into Tapu Bulu, uh, which means not only am I going to get leftovers, I'm also going to get Grassy Terrain, which is going to mitigate this damage. And uh, I got up a wish, and I know that I'm faster than his Electros as well, which I mean, I know it's not max speed now. And I'm just going to go into Jirachi. There's nothing this Bulu can really do to my Jirachi other than maybe set up Leech Seeds on it. And uh, I'm not too concerned with that. He knows my Jirachi is uh, defensive from the fact that I set up Stealth Rocks, but I'm okay with that. He's also not Leftovers on his Bulu, so that's something to note. Uh, I'm quickly losing my check to his Sock. But now that it doesn't have its choice band, it's not as dangerous. Okay, that wood hammer did not do a lot. It didn't do that much, actually. Like, I say that, it did 46%, but it didn't do as much as my calc suggested it would um, when I ran max attack. I'm going to calc that real quick. Wood hammer from 252 adamant would do 44 to 52. So I think he's adamant scarf. I think he's scarfed. Cause he's he's doing adamant damage to me. He's not he could be doing jolly damage. It's maybe a max roll on jolly. But it looks more like Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I mean I can wear down the Electros really easily, so I'm not too concerned with that. Um I will just go for the I'm just gonna go for the iron head here. As he goes into his Skarmory, which is fine. I'm going to get off an Iron Head on that. And uh, he's not Rocky Helmet. He is Leftovers, as confirmed by that. And do I want to reveal Thunderbolt just yet? Well, I mean, it's really only here for the Skarmory at this point. So I'm pretty safe going for a T-Bolt here. As that's going to do 69% and get a Para. Once again, he's going to go for Defog. That is fine with me. I can just go for Stealth Rocks again. His Skarm is threatened like nothing else right now uh, from a Thunderbolt from my Jirachi. And now pretty much everything on my team can knock out this Skarm, especially that it's... Uh, I can see that it's not specially defensive from the Thunderbolt damage. It did 69. So Skarmory, uh, physically defensive versus Lucky and Bad's Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, that's a roll on, uh, on fully physically defensive. And my Iron Head did 7... Did 8%. Yeah, it's fully physically defensive. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what I expected him to bring. So now I can just get my rocks back up. He can do absolutely nothing about it. And I'm in a I'm in the driver's seat right now, guys. This is looking good. We we heavily damage this Skarmory. And we have damage on the top of Bulu, which means I might be able to set up with Zygarde and sweep. Uh, do I have damage on his sock? Is the question. I have a lot of damage off on his sock, yeah. Okay, sock. Choice Bandit versus Zygarde. Man, I really wanted to sweep with Empoleon. Guys, uh, I made a bet with Jar before this game that if I got three or more kills with Empoleon, that I would... Um, that he would have to reveal one of his sets to me in the NPL Miners. I would choose a Mon that he has to bring on his team in the NPL Miners. Uh, and it has to come, and he has to tell me his set before I start prepping. So, that's... Uh, if I can get it with Empoleon, that's going to be amazing. Uh, but if I can pull it off with Zygarde just as good, I don't mind revealing one of my sets to him because that's the other way around, is that I reveal one of my sets to him. Uh, I am just going to knock out the Skarmory. Uh, it's not looking good for the Empoleon sweep because I got rid of one of the things that it really kills easily. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, rocks are now up on his side of the field. I do not like this Meloetta coming in on me right now. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying because... It could have Shadow Ball. It could be Specs. Meloetta Choice Specs. Uh, how much does Shadow Ball do to Jirachi? Because I'm minus Spadef. So Shadow Ball does 
64 to 75. So I actually live it, but I need this for Tapu Bulu. No matter what, I need this for Tapu Bulu. So I think my safest play is to go into Absol here. 100% is to go into Absol and maybe just fire off an Iron Tail. Absol. Mega Abs. No, not Mega Absol. Pandora. Iron Tail to this thing only does 32 to 38. Knockoff would destroy it though. It does 95 to 112. So, and that's a choice specs variant. Mellow Etta. Sub Call Mine takes my knockoff a little bit better, but it still takes 62 to 74. So I'm predicting the Shadow Ball. I'm pretty sure Mellow Etta gets Shadow Ball, right? Am I insane? Hold on. Let's uh, let's see Mellow Etta. I'm not insane, right, guys? Yeah, I'm not insane. Yeah, there it is. All right. Um, <laughs> so it definitely gets Shadow Ball. It's not something that I really want to take right now, especially since I know that his Bulu is Scarfed. Um, but if his Bulu is Scarfed, it's probably Scarfed to outspeed Megalopony at max speed. So I'm not too concerned with it. Uh, yeah, I think I just go into uh, Absol here as he goes for a Shadow Ball. Fantastic. Okay, so we predicted that correctly. He is going to get a Spidef drop. It doesn't matter too much uh, in the long run. I'm going to go for an Iron Tail because it hits the Bulu and it hits the, the Deancey if it wants to switch in. Uh, as well as it hits the Sock harder than my knockoff. So let's see. Sock, Choice Banded. Uh, will go down to two Iron Tails after Rocks. It does 39 to 46. So I think that's my play. Is just to go for the Iron Tail. Um... Because then I could... Wait a minute. If I get off that necessary damage, can't I win with Empoleon now that his Bulu's lower? It's at 78. Bulu, Tapu Bulu versus Empoleon. Cobalt at plus two. Flash Cannon, yeah, it destroys it. Even if it's max HP. It annihilates it. And I outspeed Sock. And his Electros is pro it's not AV. It's leftovers. Electros. E Electros. Uh, assault Vest, but take off the Assault Vest. Hold on. Get this get this out of the way. Uh, no item. Scald at plus two is still only gonna do 37.9 to 44, so that's kind of unfortunate. I am just gonna go for the Iron Tail though. Um I don't know if he thinks that he's faster than me. But he's not. <laughs> Unless he's Scarfed as well. In which case, I think his play is to go into Sock regardless. But I too would KO that. And I don't need Florgis anymore. Florgis has done its job. It's kept everything else alive. <laughs> That's It's kept Jirachi healthy, and Jirachi is one of my win cons at this point. Looking at his team. So let's see what his play is. He's taking quite a while. I'm not going to pause it, though, because this game is going to be a lot more fast-paced than the one against Josh, for sure. Sorry, I just smacked my mic. And take a sip of water, because I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm really nervous. Um, especially because I really want to pull off the Empoleon sweep, but I know that's not going to happen. Ah, uh, it's so depressing. It could still happen, because I think I take out Sock at plus two, right? Sock. Okay, he's going to stay in. He's going to take an Iron Tail. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt, and he's going to crit me and knock me out. Um, I'm not sure if that mattered. It probably didn't. Wait a minute. He has Thunderbolt. Oh. That's interesting. He doesn't have Focus Blast. He has Thunderbolt. Huh. He, he has Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. What's the rest of his coverage? Don't I just win if I go for a DD now? Like, even if he has HP Ice? How much did his Shadow Ball do to my Absol? Hold on a second. Because I know he's not Specs now. Sub plus Call Mine versus Absol. Uh, Pandora, if I put on Shadow Ball on this set. He has to have some kind of Psychic move. Shadow Ball, where are you? Uh, 19 to 23. Okay, so he has more special attack investment. Yes, that did, whoa, hold on. Yeah, he's modest max attack, max special attack. That's his set. It's modest max special attack. So knowing that, does he take out my Zygarde? Because I'm not going to go for the Empoleon sweep if I have it in the bag with Zygarde, honestly. Um, where's Drizzy? 
Thousand arrows to no HP, because he's probably no HP. Um, zero. Thousand arrows does 35, so he's in range of a plus one, right? Uh, 52 min. Okay, so maybe he's not. Well, that's with max defense investment. Um, so yeah, he's in range of a plus one thousand arrows, especially with this minus one defense. Uh, I think Deancey's in range. I really want to go Empoleon, though. I really want to go to Empoleon. And just fire off an agility. And be faster than this. Because how much does Empoleon do to this thing now? <clears throat> Cobalt. Plus two flash cannon does 56 min with no HP investment. But if he's max HP, I can still kill him on a higher roll. And that's if he's max HP. So... Yeah, I think I go Empoleon here. And try to get the sweep. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go Empoleon. And uh, I'm going to turn back on Specs because I have a good feeling that Jar is here. There we go. Let's scroll back down. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the agility. And um, if he switches, if he hard switches, which he shouldn't because he has Thunderbolt, he goes for the Psy Shock. All right, so good play, but I can still take your Thunderbolt. I can still take your Thunderbolt. Very easily. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, let's go for the Flash Cannon. I can still win with Zygarde. I can set up on his Electros. I can set up on his uh, Bulu locked into something other than Woodhammer. It's not banded. It's not going to do that much to Zygarde anymore. So, I should be fine, honestly. Um... Do this for Rufus. <laughs> yeah, I am doing it for Rufus. I am doing it for Rufus. <laughs> Definitely matter, Jar, honestly. Oh my god, he took that like nothing. He's gonna go for Shadow Ball now. I guess he knows that I'm weakness policy. He has to know that I'm weakness policy. He took that a lot better than I expected. He took only 19. Yeah, because I'm not at plus two, hello? Uh, 23 to 20, he still took that a lot better than I expected. But his Thunderbolt from here can knock me out, right? Thunderbolt. 60 to 71. Okay, so it does knock me out from here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for another Flash Cannon here. There's no reason not to. Uh, I mean, I could go for Scald. Scald, Scald is actually better in this scenario. Because... If his Electros chooses to come in, then we're good. And uh, Scald should not knock out the Deancey, but it'll do good damage. Yeah, I think we're okay. Either way, I know we're okay. We're gonna we're gonna win this game, but I get a crit on my Scald. He goes for Thunderbolt, and knocks me out. Good play, weakening with me with other moves. That was uh, that was well played. I like that. All right, so I lost the bet to Jar immediately right there. Um, but now I know he's Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. He hasn't revealed an item on top of Gulu, but I'm pretty convinced that it's Scarfed. Because why wouldn't he bring a Scarfer against me, right? Deancey can't live my plus 1,000 arrows, even if it's max defense, right? Deancey versus Zygarde. Uh, Drizzy. 1,000 arrows. Oh, yeah, it's dead. It's gone. 140 min. Uh, and what if it's regular Deancey? Regular Deancey still dies after rocks, more than likely. Uh, I know that I'm faster than this with Raigeki. Alright. So, I think what we do here... If his Meloetta is max special attack... Because I didn't calc that. Modest... Versus... Drizzy, if he's Hidden Power Ice. Uh, he does 95... 8, 90, 98 max to us, so... And he doesn't have any priority on his team. Uh, Alright, so, yeah, I think we go Drizzy. Do I risk the game if I do that? Um, Because it's my only way to kill his Electros. Yeah, I probably don't. Yeah, let's go Drizzy. Alright, we know we're faster than this. Because he's not rocking max speed. He's rocking a lot of HP. Because he took my Scalds way too well. Um, I think he's Assault Vest, regardless. I'm pretty I'm pretty convinced that he's Assault Vest on this. 
Um, I know that I knock out Sock now. So Sock, uh, Choice Band, dies to 1,000 arrows at plus one. It does 79 min. What if he has a lot of HP? But he shouldn't because he's banded, right? Still does 65 to 77. Okay, yeah, let's go for the Dragon Dance. Let's see what he has for me. Uh, he goes for the Hidden Power Ice. It's not going to be able to take me out. And I do have the leftovers. So let's go for the 1,000 arrows. And I think we win, guys. Um... You saw the move. I th no, I, I hid the move. I'm going to hide the move in post-editing. You're not going to see it just yet. I'm pretty sure I take out Electros, right? E Electros. Assault Vest. Thousand Arrows without the Levitate. Where is the Levitate? Get rid of it. Uh, yeah, it does min 117 to max HP. Boo Boo's going to come in. And uh, 1, 2, 3 go goodbye that is gone next up <laughs> oh my god drizzy you are just such an amazing sweeper i love you i love you honestly i lost the bet to jar i lost the bet god damn it <laughs> it's all good <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I would have made him bring, brought, bring Gorgeist against me. It's all good. <laughs> Jar, you win? No, I, I win this game, and I'm going to win it 4-0. And I'm going to be tied with uh, with Zazo in differential. Let's go. And that's our we that's our opponent next week. The titan that is Anthony Zazo, Iron Flash Gaming, and the Detroit Butterfreeze. The least threatening name in the world. <laughs> Alright, so we should have this sealed up. Um, Sock doesn't get any kind of priority, I'm pretty sure. And we have a lot of HP thanks to his grassy terrain. We're looking good. Did uh, Pierre say anything? I don't think he said anything. Yeah, I just knocked out his Bulu <laughs> with Sludge Wave. <laughs> that was amazing. We weakened it just slightly, just enough through its own wood hammer recoil. And we got the win. This should be sealed up, guys. I'm, I'm just saying it now. I think I lose here. <laughs> You don't say, Pierre. You don't say. Um, yeah, Sock dies. We already calc that. We don't need to calc it again, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> 79 to 94. I definitely take it out. I'm glad I calc HP Ice. I knew he would bring HP Ice on Meloetta. That was good prep. That was amazing prep. And, uh, yeah, I think we win. Uh, Deancey dies. Deancey, even if it's, um, specially defensive... So this is max HP. If we take out all this HP, even if he stays in regular, he's going to die to 1,000 arrows, no matter what. So we're good to go. Um, you guys see the chat blowing up on the side. Everybody's going crazy. Yeah, Electros is dead. We already saw that it's leftovers. It's not uh, Shuka. Should have brought... Should have brought Shuka. 1,000 arrows. Blown all the way back. Goodbye, and we get our leftovers and the grassy terrain. And in comes Deancey. Here goes uh, Thousand Arrows. And uh, this should be dead, even if he stays in regular. And if he stays in regular, then I just win with Thunderous anyway. His band is gone on Sock. He's going to Mega Evolve. This is going straight down. That's a crit. That didn't matter. Even if he was max HP, max defense, in Mega Form, he does not live. Everyone's saying mattered in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for the last thousand arrows, and this is gonna be a clean sweep. GG Pierre. Man, that was uh, yeah, it did jar. It did go perfectly for you, didn't it? <laughs> My Empoleon didn't sweep. No. <laughs> Yo, I was so banking on that, but he played around it so well, so well. Like if he actually went for T bolt, like I wouldn't have killed him because I was seeing how little the flash cannon was doing, and I'm pretty sure his T-Bolt 2 had KO'd me, but yeah, that was just a bad play. I lost differential for no reason. It was because of a bet, okay, guys? It was because of a bet. That's why I do these things. It's all for the fun of the game. I was really nervous about this game, but I had mock battles upon mock battles. I, had, I identified his sets so quickly. Ban I knocked off his band. Uh, I saw that he was bulkier plus max special attack modest Meloetta. 
Uh, I saw that his Bulu didn't do enough damage to my Jirachi for it to be Choice Banded. I saw that his Electros was left over, so it couldn't be Shookaberry, couldn't be Assault Vest. Uh, and I knew that his Deancey wouldn't be rocking that much bulk. I think the Thunderbolt on the uh, Skarmory is what really mattered. Um, honestly, if he got back up rocks, it wouldn't have made a difference in this game, because as you guys can see, uh, if I scroll up to the, um, to the Hidden Power damage, uh, it did 84, so it wouldn't have done enough to me to knock me out. I, I specifically... Uh, made sure that Hidden Power Ice from Electros couldn't knock me out, so I'm pretty sure that Meloetta couldn't knock me out either uh, at the same time, so that was a uh, that was a great game, uh, amazing game to my opponent, Pierre. Go check him out in the description, guys. Go go check out his side of the battle. I'm sure he, his commentary is going to be amazing. Uh, definitely go see that, but uh, that is going to be the game, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, check out all the coaches in the GPC. Make sure to follow the GPC Twitter and the channel. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys next week for round three or game three, week three of the GPC. Ciao, guys.